Kirsty was independent. She wanted to do a lot more for herself, and I probably never gave her as much freedom as she should have had. I probably smothered her a bit, and I suppose she just rebelled. A couple of years ago, I did go off the rails a bit. I drank constantly, I smoked. I was a party animal. I'm exhausted. No, baby. Kirsty was hanging around with all these friends who were smoking and drinking. She was coming in all hours of the night. I'd said to her, you can either stop hanging around with them or find somewhere else to live. So she found somewhere else to live. Oh, wow. Hello. Right, who's who then? This is the mum. OK, I'm so mom. you're mum. I'm Nan. Nan, Dad. Mum's best friend. Mum's best friend, OK. Right, it's a real family affair in here, isn't it? <laughs> So who are you going to have as your birthing partner? It's going to be just mum and nan. Okay. When I told my family I was pregnant, I knew they'd want to come to the hospital with me. Come on, Leash. Oh. We're being a close knit family. We do everything together. <laughs> okay. Mummy's here. Yeah, you're doing fantastic, babe. Very proud. Thanks for coming. Ah. Oh. But coming from a large family, sometimes getting your points across or making sure you're heard is hard. So, Kirsty, what's been happening then? I started getting pains. OK. About half four this morning, and they just haven't gone away since oh, they good. just got stronger. Do you know what you're having? OK. Oh, lovely. Oh, fab. Can I start with having a feel of your tummy now? You can't. Oh. Pain? Oh, yeah, okay. Walter. So remember what you're going to do, OK? In through your nose, breathe in for three. Sit back and relax your shoulders and breathe. Slow it down. Oh, they're getting a bit stingy now. Remember, these are good pains, OK, hon? Oh, they're not good oh, pains. I know. They're not nice. Do you want to walk with me around the room? Or you can bounce on your dad's belly and use it as a bathing <laughs> ball. <laughs> you're doing really well, babes. She's grown lovely, hasn't she, on here? Yeah, she's, she's big. Well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How big were you when you were born, then? Two eight. Two pound eight. They were the first triplets born here. That's amazing. What number are you? Number one. Number one? <laughs> are you guys identical? No. Yeah. No, you're not? No. Wow. Either. Three girls, were they? Two girls and a boy. Oh, wow, OK. When you're a triplet, most things you own, you have to share. Right. So we've got a very happy little girl in there. Having my own baby is something that's mine. I don't have to share her. She's just all mine. I've got to congratulate you on having three in one go. Yeah. <laughs> mine came out the sunroof, though. <laughs> having the triplet, it's been difficult. You don't get to give them all your attention all the time. I had them at 30 weeks, but I was in it, yeah. Oh. You were eager beaver to come, so is she. Hey, runs in the family. The triplets were in hospital for the first seven weeks of their life. And then when they came home, the two girls were on oxygen for a couple of months. We had a twin pram and a single pram. And everywhere you went, people would say, oh, my God, oh, my God, triplets. What did they weigh? Oh, how'd you cope? And all the same questions. And it was lovely at first, but then it became quite, you know, hard work. Who's joining our party, then? Andrew is on his way up with Gemma. Do you reckon yeah, your sister and brother will be feeling what you're feeling? Yeah. Because sometimes they say there's like a connection. I hope so. It feels oh, so. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Telepathically, okay. I want you to start saying I want. I want. I'm going to transfer this pain to them. Sheridan's Sheridan. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> Here's Andrew and Gemma. This way, Gemma. Excited. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay. Let's go. Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi you guys. Hi. We've been expecting you. Oh my god. <laughs> so you are Gemma. Gemma. My and name's Andy. Andy. Yeah. Is she right. Right? She's fab. Oh fuck. Mm. She's absolutely fabulous. Look who I've got. Hi. No way. So this is the triplets. The triplets, you're back together. She's yeah. just having a pain or something. Yeah. Can you feel the pains, guys? No, thank the goodness. Emotional no. pain. You can feel that. <laughs> oh my gosh. The the belly's a lot more. Like she just moved, and I literally saw the baby. Yeah. The triplets are three totally different characters. Can I have one of the three of you together, yeah. please? Yes, come on. Gemma is very shy and reserved, but very clever. 
my lovely babies. Love you. Oh. Ready? Kirsty wants to be a mum, just wants to be a family orientator. Is there a chance she could be going home today? No. Without the baby? Yeah, Not at no. all. No. It will be out. Yeah. She will be home. Yeah. The baby will be coming. Yeah. Andrew is the life and soul of any party. One or three other girls, or the real girls, shall I say. Fabulous. I'm Kirsty's brother. Um, well, soon to be sister. I've been dressing like this a long time. I always aim to turn heads. So are you Andy or Andrew? Is that Andy is Andy. the name I go by, yeah. My goodness, Andy, I can't believe you're in heels. I was going to wear bigger ones. I thought, no, I need to behave. Gemma and Andrew are more into the hair extensions and the makeup. And cos I'm not interested in that, I'd say they bond more. Even when we were little, I can remember Andrew, Robin, Gemma's makeup. She'd proper lose it. <laughs> Growing up, I was constantly known as one of the triplets. My brother was very bubbly, always had to be in the limelight. That was annoying. <sighs> Being a mum is my chance to break away from the other two and prove that I can do something on my own. Is there anything that'll make you more comfortable? The baby out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. Oh. Come on, babe. Come on. <laughs> oh, you're a good girl, aren't you? Yeah, you're a good girl. I am very protective of the kids, especially Kirsty. I seem to understand her a bit more. Mummy's baby. Yeah. <laughs> Mummy's baby. Kirsty was independent. She wanted to do a lot more for herself, and I probably never gave her as much freedom as she should have had. I probably smothered her a bit, and I suppose she just rebelled. A couple of years ago, I did go off the rails a bit. I drank constantly, I smoked. I was a party animal. I'm exhausted. No, baby. Kirsty was hanging around with all these friends who were smoking and drinking, she was coming in all hours of the night. I'd said to her, you can either stop hanging around with them or find somewhere else to live. So she found somewhere else to live. <sighs> really can't do this anymore, you know. I can't do it. It's taken too long. When I left home, I moved into a hostel. It was horrendous. Just banging on doors and shouting. You never slept. But once I'd got used to being on my own, it was hard to imagine going back home. Oh, you well, Oh, Abigail. I've waited my whole life for you. When I first found out I was pregnant, I was over the moon, cos I've always wanted to be a mum. With these contractions coming like this, we're not far away at all. <laughs> to be a mum? Yeah. I was very positive that I was keeping the baby. I was going to do it, whether it was on my own or with support. Just you and her against the world, eh? Yeah. I want to be a mum. You are. Wow, I'm going to be a mum. Amazing mum. I got a place for me and the baby. She's got her own room. It's all decorated. She's got everything she needs. I'm happier now than I was because I've seen the difference in Kirsty. She's totally grown up. You know, she's dedicating her whole life to this baby, so I'm with her 100%. You've done all this by yourself, you know. Yeah. Shows how strong you are. I don't drink anymore. I don't smoke. I don't go out. Every penny I get goes on the baby. So I'm proud of you. I always knew something was missing in my life, but couldn't point a finger on what it may have been. And I think I found what it was. It was being a mum. My family have always supported me, even when I did go off the rails. I know they'll still support me when the baby's here. Here's your dad. Mm -hmm. Thank you, oh, hi. Doing well. Fantastic. you got to be a mum in the minute. I'll always be there for her, no matter what. Every bit of support that she needs, she will get. And I'll stand back if she needs me to stand back. Will you? Yeah. Will you? I will. Really? I'll try. Really? <laughs> I promise. That's it. Well done. Oh, mum, baby. One. Push. Yeah, that's it. Deep breath in, sweetheart. Go on. That's go for it. That's it. Go for it, baby. Good one. Good one. Good one. And a quick breath in.
Come on. <gasps> and go again. And again. Well good done. girl, my love. Keep going. That's a really good push. Keep go going. Keep 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 going. Having this baby on my own gives me a chance to mature and learn to stand on my own two feet and care for somebody else. Ah! Good girl, good girl. Oh, so good girl. Oh, 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 look at it. It cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you recognise my voice? Yeah. Where's your mummy? She's done so well, hasn't she? Yep. OK, guys, we have auntie and uncle here. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Here's your auntie, Jem Jem. Congratulations, Mama. She's beautiful. <laughs> Andy and Gemma are going to make really good aunties. Oh, you're my gorgeous. Look at your cute little eyelashes. I think they'll bond with the baby more with our relationship being so close. You are absolutely crushing. It's going to be weird to be seen as a different label. I'm not going to be labelled one of the triplets. I'm going to be called Mum or Mummy. 